Well, greetings from the sales floor of Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, Minnesota, northern suburb of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Today we're going to talk about our latest acquisition, a 1956 Pontiac Star Chief Catalina two-door hardtop. I will give you all the information in a moment. <laughs> Well, greetings from the sales floor of Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, Minnesota, northern suburb of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Today we're going to talk about our latest acquisition, a really, really nice looking 1956 Pontiac Catalina Star Chief two-door hardtop. Now I'll tell you what, you're going to want to watch this entire video from start to finish if you have the time because we're going to do a cold start, we're going to do a walk around, give you lots more information and pictures of this really nice car. No, or, or the other option you have is you can click on the link in the, in the description and it'll take you right to our website for all the information and the pricing and everything on this car. And our website being www ellingsonmotorcars.com and currently we have over a hundred cars and trucks and collectibles in inventory right now. Yeah, might as well check it out because you never know we might just have that dream car you've been looking for for years and it's right there on our website. So let's get into the newest story on our latest acquisition 1956 Pontiacs. You know they were always a little bit fancier than the regular Chevrolet. A lot of people said if you had a Pontiac you know it was it was a little nicer car nicer in terms of some of the amenities just all that kind of stuff a little more prestige because that's really what they were doing back in the those days they were getting all these interesting things and features and chrome and everything else that really tried to make them very distinctive. 1956 was a good year for Pontiac. I mean, it's got their reliable 317 V8 engine in this particular car. And take a look at that engine compartment. Very, very nicely detailed just the way it came from the factory in 1956. But yeah, everything was orientated towards airplanes and rocket ships and whatever. I mean, look at the bomber uh, front bumper guards. I mean, they look at, like something off of a big airplane. Of course, they always have the hood ornaments. And when I was a kid, one of my favorite things to look at all the different cars and the hood ornaments. And of course, GMs really had cool ones. Pontiac, no exception. That was really, really neat. And this is another one of the features on Pontiacs is the chrome stripes on hoods. That goes back into the 30s. It was something that you could always see when a car coming down the road, you go, that's a Pontiac, uh, because everyone had something distinctive to say about everyone. Now this car is finished, refinished in its original colors of sandalwood tan and sun beige, which is a really nice color combination because it really matches well with the interior on this car also. I love the full hubcaps, of course. Now, the biggest improvement that this car has, probably from 1956 for drivability and whatever, is the radial tires. It's got radial tires, which really helps have this car going down the road. and It just feels better, gives a nicer ride. Uh, the car does have power brakes, so you know you have that nice option that'll also help you because this is a big car. I mean, by today's standards, this was uh, you know this would be considered a monster size car, but 1956, pretty much everything on the road was of this size. No, it's one of those cars. Take a look at the inside. Beautiful interior. I like the fact that nobody has really done anything to. Uh, mess this up if that's the word I want to use where they cut the dash out change gauges no it's got its original instrumentation uh, I believe it even has its original radio is still in place now this car of course is an automatic it's something that you can just jump in turn the key start anybody can drive this car take a look at the interior it is a beautiful uh, cloth and vinyl interior. I love the brocade cloth uh, seats in the car. I mean, it's, it looks like this is tough stuff. I mean, I suppose for when kids or whatever slopped on the seat, ooh, man, you could get in big trouble in my day because uh, dad was always being watching if you had an ice cream cone in your hand. Didn't want to have <clears throat> accidents, if you will. Now, this is, like I said, the uh, Catalina, which was a word that, that Pontiac used to denote their hard tops. 
because if you look, it does have the magic flipper right here that works really cool so that you don't get any water if you're driving or wind noise or whatever. It's what also gives you this open air feeling when you put both windows down. That's the hard top versus a sedan where you have a post or a pillar right here. Uh, this car also has dual exhaust, so it's got a really, really nice sound to it. Uh, again, another reason to watch the video from start to finish because you'll hear how this thing actually runs. Now, you can find all of our cars and vehicles on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram as well. Give us a like, leave us a comment, or subscribe. We appreciate that very much. You'll find this car, our current inventory, and as an added bonus, a lot of uh, the cars that we've sold over the years are there as well. So if you're really looking for old time to look at old cars and really neat stuff, Ellingson's has really had some really neat stuff over the years. No, a 1956 is just one of those really good years. It's just one of those cars. I mean, and it's re it's reasonably priced. For some reason, of course, not quite certain how that works, but the Pontiacs, Oldsmobiles, and whatever, never quite are as expensive as the uh, Chevrolets, but yet you still get the pleasure of having something out of the 50s with the features that it has, the open air, and it still has the vent windows. I was just talking to my dad's old business partner today, and we're talking about, my dad told him the story, yeah, when my mom and him both smoked in the car, <laughs> you looked in the back seat, and you didn't see if there were kids in the back seat because it was smoky, but then if you open the vent windows, it kind of helped clear it out a little bit. So one of those crazy things that I hadn't thought about since I was a little tyke many, many, many years ago, by the way. Also, very nice sized trunk in these cars with the three stars on it, so you know that it is the Star Chief. I mean, and the, the red, the rocket looking taillight sections, the chrome, everything, like I said, was orientated towards going fast when it looked like it was sitting at a standstill. It looked like it's a rocket ship or a, a, a jet airplane. Just was something that was really, really popular for all the car manufacturers back in the 50s. So if you're like me, maybe you say, you know, it's something I really like, but I need to come and take a look at it. Well, we'll welcome you at any time that we are open. We are open Monday through Friday from 10 until 5 and Saturdays 10 to 4 as well. So if you're like me, you want to come take a physical look, touch the car, make sure it's here, it is here and uh, get in the car. We can certainly show you how this is uh, for <clears throat> people like me that have to have a little extra room, lots of room in this car, lots of room for the back seat passengers as well. So if you're looking for a really interesting car, one that you don't see very often, you know, the Pontiac Star Chief being the top of the line for Pontiac, you would think there'd be lots of them out there, just really isn't. So if you want something special, we got it right here at Ellingson. So remember our website is www.ellingsonmotorcars.com or give us a call. We'd love to talk to you on the phone as well. So thank you for visiting today and watching our video. Hope to see you next time at Ellingson Motor Cars.